The blood and the bone marrow, they are an interface where the bone marrow makes a lot of the blood cells that you see circulating in the blood. So the bone marrow essentially is a factory for these cells. And there are various conditions that can cause blood counts to get low. And a lot of them can be sorted out by a hematologist or even a good internal medicine doctor. But there are a fair number of patients who in spite of thorough investigations have low blood counts of unclear causes or unclear etiology. You know, as hematologists, we often see patients with low blood counts. We, you know, do extensive workups. We cannot find out why they have this uh, with routine existing technologies. But our research has told us that a lot of these patients could either have certain genetic changes, what we call as germline syndromes that predispose them to bone marrow failure, or even more dangerous conditions like acute leukemia and myelodysplastic syndromes. So if you see the current scenario, there's really no structured setup for these patients. They're often told, we don't know what you have, you know, come back in a few months. And I think it was very important for us to take this step forward and say, okay, you can come to this clinic. We're going to use, partner with the Center for Individualized Medicine, the scientific team, and apply our precision medicine tools to these individual patients and go in more depth into you know, do they have an inherited predisposition syndrome? Do they have a clonal cytopenia? What does this mean for them? And, you know, even offer treatment recommendations. With the advances we've made in medicine, we are now able to identify some of these as being inherited genetic conditions that cause bone marrows to fail, and that can cause not only bone marrow problems, but can affect other organs like the lungs, the liver, your skin increase your risk for cancers, or there could be early cancer clones that are not detectable by conventional techniques that could evolve over time into blood cancers. And so we really want you know, these patients to have a home where we can use our advanced techniques and tools to further sort through these conditions and be able to tell them whether they have an inherited marrow failure state or a pre-myeloid cancer state. And then as a next step, what does that mean to them? You know, how do you follow these counts? Are there any interventional strategies that might be applicable? So it's a very composite clinic that we hope to provide, you know, where patients with low blood counts who have no clear explanation can come to us and we can sort it out and hopefully give them you know, a better follow-up plan and possibly a management strategy.